for today's schlong, just like yesterday's schlong, we talked about Springfield, Ohio. And yesterday, there were all of the stories about the uh, Haitian migrants eating pets and doing all the crazy stuff. Now, the media is working really, 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 really hard to debunk that and say, you crazy right-wingers, you guys are nutcases. Conspiracy. Nobody's nobody's eating pets. What Mm -hmm. What are you crazy people talking about now? Right. I will show you all the headlines, but I just want you to know that I continue to believe it. (laughs) Of course. And the reason I I believe it is because, you know, first of all, there were those testimonies that were given at the city council meeting of people who saw it. Yes. So I don't, you know, I know the police are saying, well, we haven't had any reports of stolen pets or whatever. I'm sorry. I still continue to believe it. This to me is just like one of those things where they try to tell you, oh, this is debunked, debunked. And then like a year from now, they're going to be like, hey, remember, that was real. Listen, they said they were like, hey, this isn't happening in Aurora either. Right. None of this, I mean, the governor was like, this isn't happening. There's nothing happening at these apartment complexes in Aurora. Like you're just it's a just big right wing conspiracy thing. It's fine. I mean, oh, and by the way, go get quadruple boosted. <laughs> right. I, I can't. Trump and Russia colluded. I shut up. These are all things that happened that were yeah. labeled. Come on. I, listen, I had people come at me on Instagram yesterday and they're like, Daisy, I don't think that this is true. And I'm like, okay, well, then just go ahead and get another booster then. <laughs> you go ahead and just believe what you want to believe. And I'm going to believe what I want to believe. And I believe that this absolutely is true. We're well, two different people. Yeah. I do too. And now we know from some past interviews back in 2019 uh, and 2021 of Kamala that she very much contributed to the current problem that we're facing. So back in 2021, as Tom Elliott pointed out, she said Americans have to support the 100,000 Haitians being imported into our country because they recently had a really hard time, you guys. And here is the corresponding video to that. Listen, the whole point is that we have to understand Haiti. I mean, talk about a country that has just experienced so much uh, tragedy that has been about natural disasters that the, that the head of state assassinated. And we really have to do a lot more to recognize that as a member of the Western Hemisphere, we've got to support some very basic needs that the people of Haiti have to get back up. Why do we have to do that? That's my first question. I'm not trying to listen. I know that people are like, you're you're heartless, Daisy. But why? Why do we always have to do that? We're broke. (laughs) So why do we have to help all these people with all of these? Why are we not putting our own mask on first before helping others with their masks? This is common sense. We are drowning in debt. We cannot do this. We cannot help all these other people with their ask somebody else. Go ask Europe. Okay. Freaking ask the Dominican Republic. I know they're not wealthy, but they're right next door. Yeah. Like, can ask- we not have them move over there? We can send you some money. Ask the Clintons. They've got a whole bank account specifically for Haiti. Well, we Maybe thought. they can help out. Right. But why do they have to come here? Mm-hmm. There's no reason for that. No, there is no reason. Well, the Clintons, we thought, but I mean, I feel like maybe Chelsea would have to give back some of the wedding money. <laughs> exactly. If they wanted to help the Haitians. Yeah. <laughs> My oh my God. gosh. And then Kamala during her vice presidency, very, very proud of the fact that they gave all of these people. Cause yesterday I was like, I think they're illegals. They're not because this administration has made all of those Haitian migrants have legal status. They've oh given them God. that temporary protection service, whatever status. And here she is bragging about it. That is why also Starting with our administration, we gave TPS, Temporary Protected Status, to Haitian migrants, 55,000. Oh, my God. And then more recently, we extended Temporary Protected Status to over 100,000 Haitian migrants for that very reason, that they need support, they need protection. Yeah. Meanwhile, there are people the people in Springfield. They right. don't need that. They don't. They don't need it. Plus, the, meanwhile, there are people who have been waiting like five, seven years to get into this country doing all the right things. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, Oh, just with my pen and my phone or whatever, I'm just going (laughs) to let people in here. I just, okay. All right. I know it's just maddening. The the numbers that you gave yesterday, what was it? 58,000 people in that town. And then it was like 20 something thousand Haitian migrants Mm -hmm. that came in. Do they not think like that's going to overwhelm a town? Do they not get it? Because they they don't, don't don't, because they don't live there. 
They don't, but they're not coming to my place. They're not coming right. to my town. So what do I give a crap? It's like, it's going to those people somewhere else in Springfield, Ohio. So it doesn't affect me. And then we can use our media, our propaganda, our media to say, it's not happening. Uh, I have another testimonial to read. Oh, um, yeah. And this one is about our friends and sponsor at Healthy Cell, healthycell.com slash chicks. They have these amazing supplements um, that are that come in gel pack form, which is fantastic because they absorb into your body so much better, 165% better, as a matter of fact, than tablets, capsules, or pills that you might be taken by the handful. And you don't need to do that. So just here's an example of one of them. This is for focus and recall. This is for your like 3 p.m. afternoon slump. Yeah. You're like, I have got to have a Coke or more coffee or a yeah. Red Bull or something. Mm -hmm. You don't need that. This is what you need. Focus and recall from healthycell.com slash chicks. It's amazing. It gives you just the boost that you need. And it's a delicious peach flavor. That is fantastic. I, of course, take their um, uh, vegan essentials as a multivitamin gel pack which is fantastic. And then we got a um, testimonial from Mike Sassman who said, hey, chicks, as a follically challenged, aka balding man, <laughs> I decided to order the hair, skin and nails supplement from Healthy Cell. Daisy's testimonial prompted me to give it a try. I just took my first dose and it is the best raspberry flavor I've ever had. Even if it doesn't regrow hair, I'm just going to use it as an ice cream topping. Keep up the great work. <laughs> Love you both. That's from my really, <laughs> It really does work. It does, you guys. I think that's why people keep take like keep on the regimen of taking it because it's like a treat it's so I mean, good it's like yeah a you're right tasty treat it is like at so, night that's sort of like my oh yay it's like well maybe yeah. i'll have this and my chocolate <laughs> it's like with my just raspberry with my chocolate <laughs> right you can get 20 percent off your first order at healthycell.com slash chicks when you use promo code chicks do it do it do it I can't. Well, and she's not the only one. Um, there's been lots of folks in Congress who have also contributed to this nonsense here again, Tom Elliott talking about Sheila Jackson Lee, um, who is now deceased, but this was back in October of 2021. And here's what she said about title 42. I'd love to do it. I just want to say this. We should end title 42 and we have to rescue those Haitian, uh, those, uh, no. uh, wonderful missionaries that are there. I want to be engaged or will be engaged. We've got to do it safely and we must not deport any more Haitians in a crisis focused nation that Haiti is right now. Just and there's Ayanna Presley who also said, listen, this is important. We have to take care of them because they're black essentially was her oh my God. point. And you'll hear it now. Haitian lives are black lives. And if we truly believe that black lives matter, then we must reverse course. The Biden administration must immediately and indefinitely halt all deportations of Haitian migrants. And Maxine Waters, who also said it that same fall that Americans are just upset about this because the Haitians are black. No. This is, that is yes, I no. think they're treated differently because they're black, uh, oh because they are Haitians, and because traditionally uh, they have not been treated as human beings. Okay, well then you let them in your house and eat your cat. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Why doesn't she do that? They're not eating cats, according to all of the fact checkers. Okay, I'm sorry. Then she should let them in her house. And then they can help take care of her cats. <laughs> right? <laughs> Leave it to Senator Kennedy to, ha to issue this stark reminder that the Biden-Harris White House wrote nearly 300 executive orders to open our border in just their first year. Probably not even the first year, but the first few days. Right. They, they ended undid it. so much of Trump's, mm -hmm. but then they also you know, wrote their own policy saying we got to make this a lot easier. I mean, this is absolutely crazy. And then yesterday, after all of the reports of the pet eating, the press rushed to say, no, 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 this is not true. The New York Times saying the Trump campaign amplifies false claims about Haitian migrants in mm -hmm. Ohio. I mean, all of these different news 
news reports were saying it. Even Rolling Stone had this headline. No, migrants are not eating people's cats in Ohio. Oh, my God. They're just so there's a guy in our comments right now. Hey, Mike, how many illegals have you taken into your house? Mike Hedrick? How many? Why? What's if he saying? He said nobody's eating cats, you morons. <laughs> OK, seriously. So the people that are actually seeing it and reporting uh -huh. it as the council meetings right. are just lying. Yeah, they're lying. This is what Mike thinks, because Mike is an immigrant taker, right? You need it's, Listen, if you believe in that and you don't have any in your house, what's wrong with you, Mike? Are you racist? <laughs> Why haven't you taken them into your guest room or on your couch? Because you should be taking them in. I mean. They're trying really hard to make this a false narrative, but unfortunately the narrative is out there because there are people who are seeing it with their own eyes. Mm -hmm. And so the city manager is coming out and saying, this is all not true, but the memes that came the out yesterday so from great. AI, you oh guys, Trump saving the cats. It was just my favorite and, thing. And to, to grab all the, you know, what that's, <laughs> that was my, that was my favorite. That was seriously I my died. favorite. You know, so, <laughs> so great. great. Mm -hmm. So great. So anyway, you can believe what you want. Like Mike, you can yeah. believe all of these press people that are now saying, mm -hmm. oh, we've fact checked it. This is not true. Or you can just wait a year when everybody admits that, yes, it was absolutely true because, mm -hmm. you know, that's going to happen. It always happens. And in fact, what will probably happen next, because this is the pattern, yep. is that first the fact checkers say this isn't true. Next, they'll say, well, it is true, but here's why it's good news. Right. That's what's going to happen next. So exactly. Like, That's why eating cats is really healthy for you. Yeah. I mean, Mike's a little slow on the uptake because he's quadruple boosted. It's okay, Mike. <laughs> we understand. It's fine. They're there. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Just put your mask back on, buddy.